Hi, I'm David Copeland-Smith, founder of Beast Motor Soccer. Today we are with 442 Performance, Rachel Daly, Kristen Westfold, two pro players here in the States, and we are gonna do the fundamentals of the first touch, getting away from danger. This is part one of a four-part series. Hey guys, so this is just some simple drills we put together this phase one of our kind of like separating touches first touch to get out of danger so the first one is a simple scoop across your body and what we're looking for is for you to get your body weight behind the center of the ball and you come across and you scoop the ball there's no kicking we want that element of control involved so you can see Rachel and Kristen here body knees are bent bodies over the ball they scoop that ball then we're putting that immediate pass on it um, in later phases you'll see that we open up a little bit more so you can have more uh, just leverage on the ball and change the uh, weights on it but phase one is all about learning the different parts of your foot to put on it the second part is the outside of your foot now you're going to use the outside you're going to keep your knees bent going to be over the ball again the distance is pretty short here so again it's a little bit more rapid um, and again let's have a look at the close-up and you'll see Kristen there is her big toes pointing down and Rachel there as well the same thing and just it's that that little bit just to skip around your defender who's coming at you get out of danger a little bit boom and you're away so that is the outside of the foot. Next up is my favorite part of the foot, which is the sole. Uh, look at the top players in the world. They all use the sole of their foot a lot to when they're dribbling, when they're changing direction. And it's, it's all about control, right? If you can use the sole of your foot to control the ball, you can make it stop when you want to. You can pull it away from people. You can go around people with it. Huge, huge part of our footwork programs. We use the sole a lot. Um, you can see we got your slow-mo here you want to put a little bit of weight on the ball and then rip it right across your body and again with this series it's all about that quick pass away and the direction the ball goes is all to do with the shape of your foot so that put little push pass in the middle is very important as well now we're going to get straight into an overload situation so you can see we're using the outside of the foot, the sole, and the inside. Um, guys, we leave the mistakes in because I feel it's important that you guys see the top level pros making mistakes. Uh, we're not robots, okay? So this is all a learning uh, curve for them as well. So you can see Rach comes with the outside of her foot. She rips it back with the sole of her foot. Again, we're using all different parts of your body and then a little scoop across and a push pass. So we're using all three movements we've just learned and we're overloading you and putting them into one drill. Guys, as I said, that was phase one of this four part series. Um, we're gonna get a little bit more complex next time. But as I said, it's, it's like a Lego castle. You start with the foundations and you build up and eventually you're gonna have great feet you're going to be super confident on the ball don't forget to subscribe to 442 performance and beast mode soccer's youtube channel i will catch you next time don't forget to subscribe below